Hey guys, I'm Lifteen here, and today I am updating my ranking of my Marvel Champions heroes ranked. So last time we had these 12 characters in this order. If you want to know why they were where they were, there will be a link to the uh, old video in the description. But we're going to update this today, and instead of 12, we have 21 heroes. So I've gotten almost double of what I had. So yeah, um... Uh, this is the old list, and now we're going to look at the updated one. Okay, so, for our first, 21st spot, we have Groot. In my opinion, the worst character in the game. Um, basically all because of his growth counters, which he can have up to 10 of uh, at a time. And basically, you want growth counters on him to do anything good, to do his good stuff, and you want a high amount, because you can deal 10 damage if you have 10 you can deal 10 damage move 10 threats stuff like that except this ability right here when he would take any mad damage you remove a counter kills this character i don't like Groot at all this is my least favorite hero in the game it will probably always be so he actually was number 11 he is now 21 is Groot. our next character who I was actually kind of excited for when watching the uh, live stream developer stuff is Colossus. Um, he has the ability where he can have an extra focus. Tough status card, so you can have up to two, which is great. And when you flip, you get one. His entire kit is basically based off of tough status cards, which sounds great. But a lot of his kit requires you to discard the tough status cards. And he's very hard to get them on him. Basically, if you're doing, you know, flipping every turn, that's fine. I don't know. I just was really not a fan of this character. And they paired him with protection, which I feel like is the only one to logically play him with to give him tough status cards. But I don't feel like it works with his character. That's just kind of my opinion. Not a fan of how he plays, at least with the little bit I played of him. So, sorry, Colossus. But that's where you're going to go. 19th Thor. This was probably my biggest disappointment of a character so far. Uh, because I was really excited and I love Captain America. And he's not good. <laughs> I just don't think um, he's very minion based. Um, I think his hand size is the main thing. I know he has a card in his kit that can up it, but it is so hard to like, like if you don't see that early, you're really hurting for a while, but I don't know. Uh, and he's basically wants to go after minions because he draws two cards and, you know, you kind of want minions, which, in my opinion, depends on how your deck's built and what you're fighting. You want to fight villains like Ultron with a lot of minions. I don't know. I just, basically, very disappointed in Thor. Not a huge fan of him. He does come with some good cards. Like, I really like the Valkyrie ally, but not loving Thor. Um, next is Shadowcat who I'm mixed on because of her form upgrade, which, you know, you can flip. Uh, basically, it flips every time you attack or defend. I think that extends to events as well. And then, like, one of the sides has an attack upgrade, which you want one of the sides to be on the one where, I think it's phase, where you can defend and not take damage. But, like, when you defend, which I think it should be in general, not when you defend, but whatever. Uh, and, you know, while you're in phase form, she ignores the guard patrol keyword, which is cool. But it's hard to use because of her f constant flipping no matter what you do. And I just, I don't know, don't love that aspect. But um, also she has nine health, which is kind of a pain. But, like, I'm trying to think how to put it into word, how to put what I feel like is the worst aspect of her is basically it's hard to she's hard to control and deal with her flipping it's hard to control and have it on the side that you want at the right time so and i feel like she's not the greatest for dealing with threat despite having this ability i don't know i feel like you kind of might want to play her for justice but that's my opinion so she's a okay character in my opinion next is one i don't particularly hate but i haven't played the most is vision um his stats look terrible but with his upgrade one of the sides gives him plus two to attack and defense and when it's like that you can actually 
remove uh, when it's the other one. Wait, the one that reduces that takes away two damage no matter what, whether you defend or attack. And I don't think you can defend, which I feel like is what Kitty should have done with Phase, where you don't take damage instead of having to defend. But I do like Vision, and Vivian is a very fun ally. He's an interesting character. I feel like the plus two recovery you can get around easily. So just whenever you flip, you always have it on intangible instead of dense. Because basically what you want to do is you can just put in a downtime and kind of negate that. But he's an interesting character. Not my favorite, but I do like him. And I think his little upgrade can be fun to play around. Our next one is Rocket. Would be at 17? 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16? 16. 16. Is Rocket Raccoon, who is basically when you deal excess damage, you draw a card. So, aka, he's minions. He loves his minions and he has some cool tech upgrades. Um, his health is probably the big downside, but you can easily get that up to 15 with the card in his kit and endurance. Um,. I feel like his biggest weakness is his attack stat, but he's also a great thwarter, so I like Rocket. He's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I enjoy him. I think he's... Pr I feel like he's better at dealing minions than with Thor in his kit, and I just... I don't know. Basically, he can do a lot of damage, but he's very... loves minions, so... This next one was my least favorite character in my last video. But his, I've been playing around with him a bit more, and he's really climbed up, is Black Panther. <laughs> um, I did not like this character at all when I last played. His, stack, his stats are really good. Uh, he has a retaliate one, which is great. But the thing that I didn't love was his upgrades, and that you need a Wakanda forever to do it. Now, you can always get one guaranteed with the setup ability, but I still think that can be annoying. But depending on how you build your deck, you may not have to worry about that as hard. Or it might not be as bad. Uh, the biggest problem I have is it feels like when I get Wakanda Forever, I get like two or three, or I get it with an upgrade, <laughs> which is really annoying. Where I don't, I get them and I don't have my upgrades out or set up. That's the biggest issue is can be getting the upgrades out. But he's grown on me, especially with now that I have better cards and with protection, I really enjoy him in because you can do cards like Energy Barrier, Dauntless, which can deal da reduce damage and deal damage also Donald's game Italia 2 which is really cool so Black Panther really went up he went up what six spots which is really good so he's really growing on me so this next one I'm mixed on is Wasp I love the the ones that could change form um, she has great ability where she shuffle two mental resources back in but um I don't love wasp i feel like unlike ant-man you basically want to be in this side only or one or the other but uh i feel like it's basically just being in giant form which i don't know i feel like her tiny form is not good that's kind of my thing that really kills it for me and you only want to be in giant form but wasp is fun good change for i like her change flipping and her pre-built deck is amazing but she's fun next character uh black widow uh, great stats, um, pretty interesting ability where she does damage when a prep card is used. And over here, when you play one, you get to draw a card. I like her. She's fun, but I feel like her reliance on prep cards can be very annoying. And the Winter Soldier is a cool ally that can actually come in for free if you have enough prep cards in. But I like her kit. I just feel like she's too reliant. Eh. Well, I guess it makes sense because she's supposed to be reliant on prep cards, but... I feel like sometimes the reliance on prep cards can be her greatest weakness, where you don't really want to play events and stuff like that. You want to more go for prep cards, but I like her, so she's fun. But basically, the way I would put it is she's really fun, but I just kind of have to be in the mood for her, which I guess goes the same for Wasp, but so that's where Widow is. By the way, what are we at? 21, 22, 23, 24, nope, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 16, 15, 14, 13? Maybe. Next, I don't know. She-Hulk. <laughs> um, which might be surprising. Because <laughs> um, I kind of said Thor was bad because of his hand size, but here I am liking She-Hulk. She's one of the best cards in the game with the split personality where you get to flip to your other side and draw to your hand size. So basically what I like to do is be in She-Hulk, 
flip to Jennifer, draw to six, and then flip back. And she has insane ability where she deals two damage every time you flip to She-Hulk. And on this side, the ability to minus one threat is actually insane. 15 hit points is amazing. Uh, attack of three. The only bad thing is a thwart stat. I really like her for justice. I would recommend just like basically doing a thwart offense because she's not the best for thwart. She doesn't want a thwart. She just wants to punch. I mean, heck, flipping, you can do five <laughs> five damages doing that. Um, basically, she just wants punch and she could be really fun. If I want to play a character who just deals damage, I play She Hulk. She is so much fun and really underrated. 11th place is Miss Marvel, a character. I don't think I like it all. Uh, she has ones across the board, an ability where you put, when you play an event, event, you exhaust her and put it into your hand. Um, you know, over here you discard till you get a Miss Marvel card. I didn't think I'd like her because she's very reliant on Alter Ego, and I wasn't a big fan of flipping to Alter Ego when I got her. She really trained me to be okay with it, and yeah, um, really fun character actually because she's reliant on events and her persona supports to really carry her game and help her just do so good her persona supports are insanely good and very alter ego heavy um i feel like you might want to play with a lot of confused to just because you're gonna be flipping back and forth so but uh basically she is a really fun character who i was really surprised by my enjoyment of but yeah so miss marvel's 11 now we are at our top 10 heroes which number 10 being Captain Marvel. She has some great stats, a great ability where you spend energy resources, heal damage, and draw a card. Over here, you can have anyone draw a card. Great hand size, good recovery. Uh, basically, she is a great solo attack character if you want to, or just deal damage. Um, so yeah, I really like Captain Marvel. Still a huge fan of this character, so she is at number 10. Number 9, Quicksilver, which is ironic because he has 9 health. Uh, basically, one's up across the board. I, he was number three in my last one, but he really got put down. Sorry. But ever use one of his basic abilities, you can ready once per round, which is really good. Um, you know, he has the same ability as Scarlet Witch, where discard two um, over here, or Wanda, I guess. Discard two cards, draw two or three if the other siblings in play. Well, Wanda in this case. Um, he's really fun, but his really heavy setup can really hurt. So... Quicksilver's at 9. Um, next is a character I wasn't sure about. is Spider-Woman. <laughs> One's across the board as well. Um, she has an interesting ability where every time you play a, uh, what is it called? Aspect card, she gets plus 1 to her ability, so you can get up to 5 in a turn, which is very difficult to do, but it is possible. Um, and she over here, on this side, she allows you to also look at the top card of any deck, which is awesome. But what's really cool is a double agent. You can choose two aspects. You must include equal number of cards, but you choose two aspects in deck building. Which I love coming up with really weird or cool decks, including different kinds of aspects. That is my favorite thing about Spider-Woman, is the, just the crazy stuff you can do. And crazy, like, kinds of support you can do. If you have somebody playing aggression, you could play Justice Leadership and really support your teammate or something. Or just... If you're going solo, justice aggression. Deal lots of damage and deal with lots of threat. She's really fun and I really like her. I honestly think that the Rise of the Red Skull is insane because it comes with two fantastic heroes and um what is it? And like some great villains. But basically, she's really good. Uh so I love her. I love playing with her aspect cards or trying to use aspect cards every turn to get the most out of her and you can get insane levels of defense. I normally get about to three on these, but I've gotten to four before. Basically Spiral One is really fun and really cool. And I love building, you know, dual type dual aspect decks. Next, this character I was not sure how it was gonna work, but fell in love with immediately. Hawkeye. One, two, one. Um you know, you can exhaust him to ready your bow, which is basically what you want to use your bow and shoot. It doesn't matter what aspect you use. You're all about shooting arrows every turn to try and just stun the enemy, confuse the enemy, whatever. Um, and over here, you spend a resource and get to go get your bow, put it into your hand, which I wish it was just either put it into play, spend a resource, put it into bay, play, or like Gavin Thor, just go find it, you know, but whatever. Um, the only real downside I have with Hawkeye is his low hit points of nine, but... I really love Hawkeye. He's one of my one of my favorite characters that I've probably got recently. 
I was surprised by how much I enjoyed him because I was like, how is a Hawkeye going to work? He uses a, you know, with a bow and arrow. So let's spread these out a bit. But hey, I love him. He is so cool. Next is a character who I have been loving since the core set, Iron Man. Uh, at number six, yes. So Thor 2, two one, one um, he gets plus one hand size for each tech upgrade, which you can have ten of, or seven in his kit, or, which, does he have six? I think he's, he, no, he's seven. So you can get up, you know, to that seven hand size. He allows you to look uh, over here. As Alter Ego, as you look at the top three, cards of your deck add one to your hand uh i love the iron man kit just you basically use his tech upgrades that's about kind of what you do you can use him to thwart um use tech upgrades to really deal damage or to just help you um and he has one of the best supports in the game with pepper um who allows you to generate the resource on the printed or the printed resource on a card the top card of your discard pile so if you have a double resource you can use that to bring something in place it on the top of your discard pile and use it again with her which is insane and i really like him with protection because you have things like energy barrier which you can just use to help boost your hand size and boost your tech upgrades it is he is one of my favorite characters barely missing in the top five i love iron man in this game i have since i first played him I'm trying to make room a little bit next is a my favorite superhero of all time and number five, Spider-Man. Thor 1, he went down by like one slot, which, uh, you know, sucks, but I still love this character. Thor 1, attack 2, defense 3. He has the spider sense ability, which allows you to draw a card when, you know, you're about to get attacked. He has recovery of 3. He can generate a mental resource. This character, I love Spider-Man. He is the best, one of probably the best starting character in the game, besides maybe Captain America, but I think he's the best starting character. He is just so much fun to draw cards, deal damage, just with he has such great cards like Black Cat, which is one of the maybe one of the best allies because she doesn't take damage. You can just power her up. Uh Webbed Up, which can save you if you're doing solo, save you two turns without worrying about the villain attacking you, which is insane. Deal eight damage. He's just very good and very powerful, and I love this character. That was top five. For number two, or four. We have Scarlet Witch, Thor 2, Attack 1, 2, Defense. Uh, she has the Interrupt when Boost Icon, where basically you can re discard a card and um, a card with the Boost Icons and then like draw another one, which is really cool. So if it's like only one and you want three for her cards, you could just do that or whatever. Um, and then same ability as Quicksilver, but for Quicksilver, instead we draw, you know, discard two, draw two, but if he's in play, three. Um, but basically what's really cool about her is she uses the encounter deck against the enemy, against the villain, which is so unique and so cool. She's the only character who does this, and I love playing with that because she can do some insane plays and some big damage. That's basically my favorite thing to do with her is goof around with the encounter deck, and that's what she's all about, so I love doing that. I will admit she does have a few flaws with things like sometimes villains attacking can really screw her over, but she's really fun. So Scarlet Witch is at number, what are we at? Four. Top three. Number three. Uh, going down a slot is Ant-Man. I still love him. Thor 1, attack 1, 2 health. He is so much fun. When you flip to this side, you get remove threat. Flip to this side, heal damage. And when you flip to your... Wrong way? Wrong way. Giant side, deal damage. Basically, what well, Ant-Man, you want to be flipping between your two hero sides every turn. And that is so fun to strategize. His, car, his helmet, the cards like his helmet encourage that you have his ants which you can use every single turn which are great three damage and also you can just use to ping off tough they're so good i love this character he is so much fun he's just fun to flip between his ultra hero forms every turn is so cool and so fun and you can strategize with it which is so awesome number two is one of the best characters and probably even one of the best pre-build decks in the game is captain america with twos across the board, three when you have a shield in and it gives them retaliate. You see, I can do this all day ability, which allows them to ready once per turn when you discard a card from your hand, just like like Quicksilver. Um, Living Legend, which makes each ally, the first ally each round, cheaper. It doesn't even have to be your ally. If you're playing in a team game, someone else can get a one cheaper ally, which is awesome. You need to go find a shield to set up. Ability, 
basically this character is awesome i love playing captain america if you are you know he's one of the first characters i would definitely recommend getting maybe the first because he is so good he is one of if not the best character in the game which i would say was the best character in the game then i got the next character who i was not expecting to be as good as he is or as fun as he is is venom <laughs> this character is insane 12 health which is even one more than captain america or oh, wait yeah one more than captain america he has ability which you can take a damage and generate a resource wild resource which is awesome you have you can control an additional restricted keyword also i don't know if it says that sword one attack two defense two over here you got flash for recovery which is fantastic same restricted and you get to discard cards from top of your deck until you get a weapon upgrade which way i like to play him is just his weapon upgrades because that's all you need like he is so um what's the word versatile he's so versatile that you can play him in any aspect or probably even no aspects which quicksilver is fun to do that with i'll have to make a video on it but like he is so good this character is insane you can wipe villains so fast or just wipe minions whatever you gotta deal with you can deal with schemes with his weapon just just his weapons in play and he has guns he has cards to help you get the weapons he has cards to help you just ready your you and your upgrades and just he is so good i love this character basically venom is a surprise hit for me and my favorite character in the game all right so here's from one so here's one to 21 here's every hero all 21 that i've played of marvel champions ranked so uh let me know what you think of this ranking. Leave yours down in the comments. So if you do, if you disagree, you know, leave it in the comments. Let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.